Have you ever been um, on a journey or in a race or some kind of activity where you got so tired that you were just ready to give up, but you kept going anyway? Um, I want to talk a little bit today about uh, the, the importance of uh, perseverance, of uh, just continuing on a uh, direction of travel. And there's a story in the Bible about um, the, the, these um, bags of gold. This uh, rich landowner is going away for a bit. And so he gives some bags of gold to his servants. And uh, he gives uh, one five bags of gold, one two bags of gold, and one servant gets one bag of gold. And he says, look after these while I'm away. And then he comes back and uh, and he discovers that the servant he gave five bags of gold to has uh, has made five more bags of gold. He gold. He he took it and he invested it and made more money using what he got. Uh, you know the the master, the the landowner is really pleased and he's like amazing. That's incredible. Then the the next one with the two bags of gold, he'd done the same thing. He doubled his money, but the guy with the one bag of gold, he thought, Do you know what? I, I don't want to get in trouble if I lose it, so I'm just going to bury it. And he thought that by keeping things the way they were supposed to be, he was doing a good job. But his master comes back and says, this is not what I wanted. I gave you the bag of gold to do something with, to, to make something meaningful, to create more of what I gave you. And you've not done it. So... I'm taking it off you and giving it to this guy. And um, uh, actually, he, he gets kicked out. I uh, lose his job. Uh, for Christians, this is a story about taking what God's given us and not wasting it. But actually, for all of us, there's a message here about not standing still with what we've got and with who we are. There's a, there's a message for all of us here uh, about how we should keep striving, keep being challenged, keep seeking to grow in understanding and ability and compassion. It's not a story just about investment and wealth creation, but it's about personal investment and achievement. Um, do you know, some people think that if you stay still, that's that's a state you can remain in. I, I surveyed a, a bunch of Christians recently and asked them if during the pandemic their faith had grown or diminished. I didn't give them any other options. But lots came back and said, no, no, it's, it's kind of stayed still. But there's an ignorance in that answer about how the world works. We live in a world where if something doesn't move, it disappears. It slowly erodes away. It gets stagnant. Still water gets stagnant. Uh, people lose skills. If I don't practice a skill, keep striving to make it better. It doesn't just say the same. It actually gets worse. And this is what happens with, with us in this life. If you try and stay still, if you try and remain in a place you've reached, you won't stay there. You won't keep moving forward. You will just lose what you've gained because the world doesn't stand still. The world's going to just keep going around you. So here's my challenge today. It, and it's simply to keep moving forward, keep striving, keep being challenged, keep trying to grow in understanding and ability and compassion. Because if you don't strive to be more than you are today, if you just try and stay still, then tomorrow you will actually find you've become less than you are at the moment. I think this holds up in uh, in uh, religious teaching and in, in the Bible. I think this holds up as we look at the world around us and psychologically it holds up as well. The final thing I want to share today is uh, is an opportunity for you to uh, to grow. Um, my, my church, Bentley Baptist Church, we're holding uh, an event called The Big Questions uh, this coming Monday, the 24th of May. It's on Zoom. It's in the evening. And I've shared a link to it at the bottom of this. And it's basically an opportunity for a bunch of people to get together online and ask questions and struggle and grapple with some of the difficult uh, things of faith and philosophy and meaning in today's world. Check it out in the link, check out that event and maybe join us on Monday so that we can move forward in our thinking and grow.
Have a great day. God bless you. See you soon.